Hey, it's GC1424 once again with World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. And in this episode of our season as Donnie Shots, we are going to the Fairbury Speedway. We've got two races left in this championship here. Last race we ran was at Weed Sport. We finished ninth. I think we could have finished seventh at best, but the field spreads out so much and it takes so long to pass cars. That it didn't happen. Main problem with Weed Sport is just like every other track, I have to start at the back of the field. They always make me start at the back in the main event. And well over there, yeah, it just takes forever to pass cars. But now, we are fourth in the standings. Six points behind Carson Placebo. And then, I think it's possible he could get to David Grapple if he has a, a, a bad race. But I think Sheldon Howden's shield has got this all locked up. So... Yeah, we're going to drive the regular paint scheme in this race. Here are the championship options, just like I always show them. 100% difficulty, full damage, uh, full race length, relaxed cautions, which hopefully that means if there's a big old wreck, we get a caution. Last episode, that was not the case. We get 20 stability help. Yeah, here's the same old settings that we're always playing with. Yeah. You got, you saw what you needed to see. I just woke up. My voice is, is dry. I need water. Yeah, it's, it's 40 laps and it's a quarter mile. That's not too bad. And, um, you know, low banking. Yeah, all that stuff. Ow. I want to drink my water. Is that a brick wall? Oh my God. What's with the brick wall? I'm just checking this place out. They're not even telling me I'm going the wrong way. That's weird. I, I, usually they do that in games. Maybe they only do that in race. That is a brick wall. Okay. I've never raced this track. All these tracks I just come to, I've never raced to it. And when it comes to qualifying, if I suck at qualifying, then oh well. Because it allows me to pass cars to learn how to race the track. In the, the heats and whatever. I kind of try to run the top. Uh, got kind of close to the wall and I'm stuck. I am stuck to the wall because that's this game. Getting stuck to the wall. Uh, yeah, that, that second lap was awful. That That is our worst qualifying ever. And there's, there's no restart button, so we can't give it another shot. Starting 8th in Heat 4. I always have to run Heat 4. Why is it always Heat 4? Like, When's the last time it was a different heat than Heat 4? There are like four other heats. I got so much scrolling to do. Yeah, Brad Sweet, he wins so much, but he can't win the championship. Uh, I don't know what his issue is. I, I guess because when he's not winning races, he's wrecking. But yeah, there are our championship competitors, second, third, and fourth. Fourth heat of the night, folks. Remember the top five. No, no, no! The top five do it not advance to the feature. Why has this not been fixed? I've been complaining about this for like three weeks straight because I realized it. And I'm hitting the wall immediately. Let, let's try and make a better impression than that. Why? What, what is with these AI and just pulling up in front of me? Okay. So, I'm just going to try to... Not make contact, it's so hard. Oh my god, it's so hard. Oh, and then they just stop into the corner. And that's kind of making me want to stop in the corner. I have nowhere to go. I'm I'm fenced in. Okay, so I need to pass her if I want to advance to the A main. Okay, I did that. I'm probably still going to get raced for the spot, though. I want to run the top in the corners because that's probably where it's fastest. But I don't know how to run the top. I, I, I can't. It's too hard. Every time I try to go up there, I just get stuck to the wall. Ow. I don't know who this guy is, but they're not leave me alone. Ow. I wish I had some control of the car. I just lost three spots from that. Because he wants to stick his nose up my ass. So I'm going to go close all that gap up again. I told you they were going to race me. Yeah, I'm trying to run the outside. But I can't get the car to stay up there. If I do, it just... Well, it, it's, sucked into the wall. Well, now all these guys are just 
staying ahead of me. I'm not catching them and passing them and stuff. I got a feeling I don't like racing this track. I'm not getting good shit out of it. And I'm fucking seventh. I'm supposed to be fourth, and I'm seventh. I'm catching Fletcher. Oh my God, Fletcher, my my old classmate from school, Fletcher. It's probably the same freaking fantasy driver from the EA games, the NASCAR games. They be like that when they go from one project to another. These fantasy drivers, they just put them in the game because they don't have any more real drivers to add, so they fill the field. Fletcher Farms. Wow. Yeah, we're going to the B main. We're starting ninth in the B main. So we got a lot more racing to show in this video. And here are the results of that one. Of course, Sheldon Howden Shield won the heat. It's time for the B main. The top five finishers advance to the feature. Yeah, Cody Fletcher. Was there a Cody Fletcher in NASCAR 07? NASCAR PSP, whatever. Probably. So, I gotta finish top five or we don't get to make any points in this race. That should not be that difficult. The B main is always much easier than the actual um, heat races that we had to do to get here. We're already third. There's Dwayne The Rock Johnson. And second, who is this in the lead? The other guy's Johnson. We got two Johnsons. Excuse me. That's confusing. We got a double Johnson. I'm in a Johnson sandwich. I don't know if Donnie Shots likes that. Why am I hitting the wall? Just run the top. Try getting good at running the top. I, I do not know what this guy's deal is. The outside is not good at this track at all. I can't run it. It's not good because I can't run it. Every time I try doing it, that happens. And I, that, I just completely blow the fucking corner. I'm losing speed for running it. What the shit? Like, you just parked it in the corner. Like, I don't. I can't run the outside. I always feel like a track like this, that is exactly what you want to do. It doesn't happen. Oh, so the laps are counting down, and I got stuck on the outside right there. I didn't even want to run it. I'm trying to get good at running the bottom since I can't actually run the top. But, uh, yeah, won the B main. That's that's another win for Donnie Shots this season. We didn't win any A mains at all this entire season. And I got a feeling that's gonna stay that way. We've got two races left, I don't think we're gonna win either of them. We had our chance to win a, a main at a Kokomo. Almost said Pocono. What the heck? Oh my goodness. McKenna Hurst is gonna be in the A main. And we got both Johnsons in the A main too. Chase Johnson and Wayne Johnson. You want the best you got a progress. Often imitated, never duplicated. The greatest show under the world of outlaw sprint cars. Okay. So, plan is to try using the, the bottom of the track to make some passes and then run maybe the middle whenever I've got some time to myself. So it's like some free breathing room. This guy's next to me now. Yeah, we can go in like that and we can slide up. I can actually stay to the bottom whenever I take a corner like that. It just wanders back up the track because you can't turn that much. I keep using the brakes, but like I can't keep the car at the bottom. I feel like the AI are much better at doing that. And I, so far, I'm not enjoying this track. There's no specific way that racing it works. Oh my God, Sheldon Howden Shield just crashed, and he's basically going to be shit for the remainder of the race. He just started. We could see someone else win the championship now because of that. And there's David Gravel right here in front of me. And he is off the pace, so that, that could also help us. Uh, what about Carson Mosquito? Like, that's that's the big name. He's the one. Okay, pulled up in front of David Gravel for 11th. Kind of trying to go into 10th. Freaking no gas. God dang it. 
Hi, Casey Kane. Why are you still here? Oh, and there's Craig Kinzer. Oh, David Gravel's back. Okay, I got him. We're, we're bumping and banging. We're doing the NASCAR thing. Oh, there's Spencer Baston. Not exactly threatened by him anymore, especially if he's just right here in front of me. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what line for me at this track is the fastest. And I'm thinking it's something like this that you've been seeing for the past couple laps. Whenever I gotta pass somebody, I gotta throw that out the window. And just like that, we're a quarter of the way through the race, making the race seem a lot longer than it actually is. It's actually really short. Oh! Oh, you did that to yourself, you fuckerhead. You did that to yourself. Now, I think I'm faster than Craig Kinzer, if I can put my mind to it. There's Sheldon Houghtonshield falling a lap down. Yeah, like I said, this fucking entire weekend got screwed at the very beginning of this race. And I've got to pass him. He is literally last. You can't DNF in this game. You you could DNF in the old World of Outlaws game from 2002. You can't do that in this game. And we're getting there. I'm having a little bit of off throttle time. Oh, and they're tumbling. That is an actual crash. That could be a caution. Yes, it is. And we're going to restart from the inside. We did get past Craig Kinzer before that happened. I mean, I, I could win this race. I'm not, I'm not going to win this race. Who the fuck am I kidding? But, I mean, there's Carson McAdoo. And he's running second. So, yeah, that kind of narrows my chances of actually ever getting to him and doing that. I don't know how much damage either of those guys that just wrecked obtained. It looks like they both spun. One guy might actually have some damage. But, yeah, I think we're going to wind up giving up those positions towards the end of the race. We're almost halfway. He's running the inside. And he is getting so much out of it. I am trying to avoid hitting him. I'm trying to avoid hitting both of these guys. See, they lose so much speed whenever they run the top. But me, I just lose a ton of speed altogether when I try running up there. I wind up actually passing Carson with placebo. Didn't see that coming. But I don't think I'm actually faster than him. I think that he's just not firing off well with his restart. Oh! Oh! Was, was that Shelton? No, that's not Shelton Hodgins Shield. I don't know who that was, but we're still third, so it was just a lap car. I just got to find my way around these guys. Dive down to the inside or something. Why are you racing? Why of all people would you be racing? Are you kidding me right now? Well, if you aren't parking it in front of me in front of the corner like that, that wouldn't happen. And now Mackie Doo has returned and taken the position. I knew he was going to do that. Shouldn't have taken a lap car, though. I should have run my laps perfectly and, and maintain it. So there's Sheldon Houghton Shield for like the third time, at least for me. We have a giant clob of lap traffic, and I don't think any of these guys are positioned. But yeah, Brad Sweet is leading this race. I mean, I don't know what the odds actually are that... Brad Sweet takes the, the points lead going into the final race, but I think it's going to be a lot closer now. Sheldon Houghtonshield is so far ahead that it doesn't matter what he does. Like, he always has the lead. It was the last lap. And I'm just trying to slide my way through all this traffic. And we, we could have gotten third in this dang race. But I, mean, I think even if I didn't get held up by lap traffic, he still would have wound up getting around me. Uh, Carson Macedo. And yeah, th those are the results. Now we finished quite a ways in front of David Gravel. So we might have gotten back around him in the standings. There's a possibility of that. Just not Mace Windu. So here are the point standings after that race. Sheldon Halden Shields lead decreases to 10 points over Carson Mosquito. Who, yeah, he does move up the spot. Which, that might seem bad for us, but that means we got closer to David Gravel and we're only six points behind him. I just wish we were getting a position. That's all that really matters in is that we get a position. Not that one guy beats us, the other guy loses, and then nothing really actually happens. Brad Sweet, yeah, his seventh win of the season, and he is just two points behind us. I am worried about that. I think he is going to pass us in the standings. If that is the case, I would like to pass both Gravel and McAdoo. That would make me feel better if Brad Sweet is really going to do this. I think it's possible if all three of those guys wreck out, then Brad Sweet wouldn't, and he would win the championship, and I would get second. There's all kinds of scenarios that can happen right now. And then Jacob Allen, he, he's not even in the picture. 
This music sounds familiar. I don't know what heat game it was a part of or whatever. But yeah, that's that's the thing with this game is that all this music is coming from the same place by the same artists and everything. But yeah, the final race of the season is the showcase at Charlotte, the dirt track. So we're gonna see Lowe's Motor Speedway. Charlotte Motor Speedway in the background. I don't know why I called it that. Whenever I just said Charlotte. But yeah, it's because of the final race of the season. We will drive the alternative CarQuest car again. It pisses me off that we don't have like an actual entire CarQuest car like Donnie Schatz has in real life. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.